In this episode of King's Quest 3 to Air is Human walkthrough, Alexander nears the end of his quest as he begins to go up a steep mountain to rescue his sister, Rosella, from the three headed dragon. Stay tuned. This episode of Video Gamers Oasis Play Theater is brought to you by Feature Points, Get Free Gift Cards, Games, and much more. Try free apps, Get Rewards. Go to your iOS or Android browsers and type HTTP colon forward slash forward slash F E A T U dot R E forward slash V G O. Use the app, start reaping the rewards. <sighs> Defeated, and we will save our game. And what's next on the agenda here? Okay. <clears throat> Once you confuse the Yeti, go down the newly opened path. Just keep clicking right until you leave the labyrinth maze. Now, Continue right and save the game before reaching the, uh, pardon me there, just uh, pardon me there, I have a little bit of a telephone. Let's continue our adventure. Glass of water there. Got a very good news on my telephone. I can't reveal the the, um, the details, but it is good news. Now, so once we defeat the Yeti, keep going right, and you'll find yourself before a cave entrance. Enter the cave. Go through the left opening. Save the game. Let's just continue on. Uh, save that as. Continue up path. Okay, let's continue on the path. Keep going up, 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 up. What's that sound? It sounds like fire burning. Okay, what, what the hell? The snow-capped peaks thrust their way upward towards a reddening sky. The rock sits among a crunchy carpet of pine needles. Okay. Let's continue on. What happens if I go off the edge here? Ah! That's the quickest way to reach Daventry, but certainly not the safest. Yeah, I guess so. I wonder why. Okay, let's continue on. Just don't go off that edge, whatever you do. On. Oh my god, what is this place? Ah! Damn it! This place is like hellish. Cracked, burnt, and lifeless. This is all that remains of the great realm of Daventry. Oh my god. Hell on earth. The end of your arduous journey rises high above you. say go down and you'll find yourself before a cave entrance enter the cave yeah, enter the cave do what it says what happens if you go in the fire what happens oh where's else where else can I go here can't go here a once green woodland, now cruelly charred, spreads out before you. Shit, this is ruined. Can't do anything around here. Start off with something smaller, like a pebble. There is nothing you can do for the land. The damage has been done. What I need is a miracle. 
What I need is a miracle. All I need is you. Okay. A winding, rickety ramp runs along the walls of the cavern. A tunnel leads off to one side. We have to go to the, uh... We have to go to the left. But what's in this pathway? I'm just curious, on the right side. Oh. I remember this cave. This is where I met the, uh, giant. It was a, uh, dwarf. This part of the cavern houses an old, rotting walkway. It's dangerous. Can't walk here anymore. But let's see what happens if I try to walk there. Ah! Whoops. Yeah, I guess so. Store the game. Fire game. Nowhere else to go but left. Now what's in here? Okay, there seems to be a cave pathway. I got a stone staircase leads toward the high cavern ceiling. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. Step by step, ooh baby, gonna get to you girl. Step by step, ooh baby, really want you in my world. Step by step. Da, da, da. Okay, we're, we're, we're at the top of the mountain here. Uh, save this game as... Uh, we're gonna save this as... Save it as... Top of Mountain. And what's next on the level? Save your game once again now. Find the stairs as you come to the opening where a we had a dragon is. Use the invisible hook on yourself and sneak past the dragon. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and when you're next to the girl, use the stormy brew to slay the dragon. Alright. So first step by step. Top of the mountain. We got our equipment all ready to go. The dirty brew. brown. Have we got our ointment? The jar of invisibility ointment is nearly full of a thick, oily substance. So we know what to do. Let's see what's going on here. Oh my goodness! There he is. Let's save this game as. Let's save this as. Dragon. Three headed dragon. Let's look at this dragon. The dragon is every bit as fearsome as you imagine. Oh, yeah. Its green scales look hard and impregnable. Three massive heads blow flame and smoke atop its writhing necks. The sight of it makes you shiver. The dragon is every It's your sister, Rosella. Let's talk to her. What happens? That was a mistake. Now he knows you're here. Okay. You roast me. You strolled quite seen up to your host. It saw you plainly. Now you're toast. Literally. Stare the game if we had a dragon. Okay. Now the instructions say. Prince in ex absentia. He can't see me. He can't see me. He can't see me. He can't see me. I'm invisible. I'm invisible. I'm invincible. I'm invisible. Now, use the stormy brew. The, the dirty brown storm brew sloshes around in the half filled glass jar. Use it. Now. Stormy brew. Churn anew. anew. Do your stuff, Stormy Brew. Lightning bolt killed him. 
The dragon's corpse lies upon the ground. No match for the fury of your magical storm. Go forth lightning! Let's take care of our sister now. Let's save our game. Save it as Rosella. Rosella rescued. And let's see what she's doing here. It's your sister, Rosella. Let's speak to her. Shouldn't you free her first? Yeah, it might be a good idea. You untie your sister. Let's see what she's doing. Hey, sister. How you doing, buddy? I thank you, my brave sir. Come, we must journey to my father's castle. My parents will be anxious to meet their daughter's rescuer. Indeed. Do... do I know you? Perhaps. We may have shared a cradle once. I beg your pardon? My name is Alexander, of Daventry. Rosella regards you with a look of bewilderment, then a hint of suspicion. Prove it. Uh... I don't know how I could. My mother told me once that my oh, brother had a peculiar the... birthmark. Kind of embarrassing. Well, in that case... On his right buttock. Okay. I see. Ah. <clears throat> well, if that is what it will take to prove it to you... Okay, this is weird. <laughs> Thank you. I am sorry I did not believe you, brother. After all you've been through, I understand completely. I just hope I don't have to prove my identity to the entire kingdom this way. Alright, let's talk to her some more. Tell me about our parents. Our mother, Queen Valenice, is as kind as she is beautiful. She is also wise and counsels father when he is in need of advice. And our father? King Graham has been the bravest and most honorable man this kingdom has ever known. It is only in recent years that our country's misfortunes have taken their toll on him. I wish I could have been there for him. You are here now. I think that seeing you will do a great deal to mend his ailing heart. Just some more. Why did the dragon come to Daventry? I do not know. On occasion, I have heard Father mumble something about a curse. Yes, he would not speak two. to me of it, though. Nor would Mother. Most curious. I am glad to finally be home. As am I. It was difficult growing up knowing that I had a brother, yet fathoming neither your whereabouts nor whether you were safe. Though I cannot explain it, somehow I knew you were still alive. I hope your life thus far has not been too unpleasant. Let's just say that I'm not overly fond of evil wizards. Yeah. Then you have something in common with Father. Though he did not know it at the time, one used to serve under him many years ago. I have had quite an adventure while journeying here. I can imagine. Perhaps I too will have an adventure someday. Well, preferably one without a three head. Agreed. Yeah, the other dragon. I'm sorry, I skipped that by accident. I am looking forward to meeting my parents. We'll surprise them. Are you nervous? Very well, awesome. maybe a little. It will be fine. You'll see. You have more. nothing more to say to Rosella. Okay. Your sister, Rosella, is looking a little worse for wear. She keeps a brave face as she gazes at you gratefully. All right, what should I do now? She's your sister, Alexander. Okay, okay, I get it.
Lady, oh, I... Leprechaun. My lady, you are free. Would it be to do with the sudden storm I beheld atop Cloud Mountain? Oh, indeed it was. And I have this noble man to thank for rescuing me. Incredible. And to think that the dragon is dead and gone after all this time. He is dead and gone, right? I hope so. Completely. Oh, amazing. Noble sir, whom do I and all of Daventry thank for this miracle? Go ahead. <clears throat> Good sir, I am Prince Alexander of Daventry. Yes, I am. The gnome gives you a thoroughly mystified look. Then gradually a grin begins to spread over his old wrinkled face. The grin becomes a great smile, and soon the gnome is overcome with joy. Wonderful sense! Sensational, marvelous views! Okay. Rainbow Bridge. <laughs> yes, it is you, isn't it? I knew it. From the moment I saw you, I just knew it. Then what did you just ask? Shh! I must run to the castle and let everybody know. The dragon is dead and Prince Alexander has returned. Right, he's heading on back. Walk across the bridge. Okay, we're to now. Uh, we'll save this game as, uh, as we're near the end here, so we'll save this as um, Rainbow Bridge. Out to give a normal or leprechaun. We'll reach you Rainbow Bridge and walk across the Rainbow Bridge, go north, sweet. Now you will have to cross two walls of fire. Wait. Get as close to the wall of fire as you can without getting burned. Now you'll have to cross the bridge to the right. Go north. Go north. Two screens. You have to go north two screens. Fire really does burn. Ah, damn it. Today's special, Prince a la carte. Restore the game. 